topic for today is do light-skinned people have it easier than dark-skinned people? First of all, I'm not a man and I'm not dark-skinned. So I can only speak from my perspective and my point of view. That question is a question that has are an assumption that I have always thought about but never gave any never gave any full attention to. I will say if I am being honest that question is one that says yes light skinned people have it easier than dark skinned people. That is the way a lot of dark skinned people think. From reading a lot of discussions on discussion boards and watching, you know, t different talk shows, that is why I say yes to that question. Because, you know, that's how some feel. Now, I am not good at remembering everything I want to say. So, I am explaining this because I feel like this is what I want to do. This is how I vlog. So, I am going to be reading from my paper. So, I won't miss anything or mess anything up. From my point of view as a lighter skinned black woman, this is how I tend to feel and the vibe that I get from darker skinned women. And a lot of times our assumptions are what takes us on another level of negativity. Sometimes I feel that darker skinned women automatically think that lighter skinned women are conceited or we think that we are better than them and this is not true at least from my standpoint this is not true we feel this vibe and we take it as negativity and I have always felt this way from when I was a child I can remember going to a party and you know how people have their cliques they got their men there, or it may not be their man. It's just men and women at a party. When a light-skinned woman walks in, you automatically feel a vibe that, oh, here comes that light-skinned bitch. It's like, it makes you feel like they automatically assume that now that that light-skinned person has walked in the room, all the men are going to flock to her and not pay you any attention anymore. And it's an assumption, true. But most times that assumption is true. A lot of darker skinned women feel that way. And it's just sad that that is the case. A lot of assumptions are we're haughty. What I just used. Oh, here comes that light skinned bitch. Another assumption is we were born into wealth. I got news for you. I wasn't born into wealth. I have struggled. I'm struggling now. I can remember the times that we didn't even have plumbing. We used bathroom in five gallon buckets. That was what we used. Or the outhouse. Or just go outside the house and use it in the, on the ground. You know, I wasn't born into wealth. Another assumption is we act and we talk white. Am I talking white? Hell to the no. I'm a country, light-skinned black woman. I don't talk white. I don't act white. So since they assume that we act white and we talk white, we hate black people. How can I hate anybody? I don't hate anybody no matter what the complexion of your skin. I love all people. In reality, we are victims of biological warfare unleashed 
so many years ago from the time of slavery. This is how all this separation came about because they treated the lighter skinned blacks better than they did the darker skinned black. The darker skinned blacks were in the fields, the lighter skinned blacks was what they called the house nigga. And that was a tool that they used all those many years ago to make us separate ourselves and keep the separation going for so many years to come. They used that and knew it would work and we're, we're making that tool work because we separate ourselves. And it's not, it's not a good thing. I found something that spoke on a, on a slave, Willie Lynch. His words were, I have a foolproof method for controlling your black slaves. I use fear, distrust, and envy for control purposes. You must use the dark-skinned slaves versus the light-skinned slaves. And all these hundreds of years later, that foolproof method is still working. Because we are allowing it to work. All of these assumptions inspire a tragic quest for some to prove their blackness with exaggerated evidence. Thuggish behavior and militant declarations. The reward for this, the elusive security of fitting in with the people you love. Light-skinned people don't get accepted by whites because we're not black. And we as light-skinned people don't get accepted by blacks because we are lighter or have white in us or we're mixed. Colorism or colorized, as it is called, is the practice of placing value on skin tone. Whatever the origin of colorism are to colorize, why does it still exist? All of these questions that I'm asking, I want everybody to comment, tell me your feelings, make a video and respond on this. I want everybody to respond on this video. To, to finally, maybe it can give some insight to everybody of how you feel and, and maybe help this trend die because it's something that is still very well alive as in racism is still very well alive. And this, this is prejudice and racism among ourselves that need to stop. So make a video responding of how you feel and how you were treated so we can all better understand where where each other where we are all coming from and how we feel and what we have dealt with this is in no way to provoke hatred or negativity or even an argument this is just to to try to tone this this shit down we we have to understand that colorism only divides us as a people. Part of the beauty of black people is that we come in all shades and we should be embracing this instead of using it to hate each other. Stop automatically assuming that we, I say we because I'm light skinned, that we think that we are better than you all. Don't get me wrong, some do. There are some that think they're better than me. So it's not about really what your skin color is it's the assumption in their mind that they think they're better than anybody it's not about skin color I don't think I think it's character that they think they're better than other people I don't think I'm better than other people I think I'm better than myself Jess I'm gonna cut this out because I'm way over my time and I'm having I'm gonna I know I'm gonna have to edit this and cut it up uh, please respond with the video. That's better. You can still comment, but please respond with the video so everyone can see that no, we don't have it easy. No, we don't have better. No, we don't think that we're better. Peace.